<laughs> this mission is a disaster. There is a presidential decree and a free item all Helldivers get. And you can see it right here. It is this cape. This is <laughs> the memorial cape for Malevolon Creek. Check this out. The president of Super Earth has officially recognized this day as Malevolon Creek Memorial Day. Every year on this day, Super Earth citizens will unite for a full three minutes <laughs> of, the, of their lunch break in solemn remembrance of those who gave their lives to free Malevolon Creek. In addition, all Helldivers have been issued a special commemorative cape so they may carry the memory of their fallen companions into battle. And I think... With that said, we need to go and, you know, spread some democracy. What can I say? <laughs> um, well, Malevolon Creek is under control, so we're not going to go there. But we do actually, uh, well, I guess, to be honest, the major order is going to finish in 19 hours. So we just need to keep these planets under control. And I think we're doing okay, actually. I mean, is that the, they're actually, I mean, well, let's just go to Tibet. We like Tibet. It's like Malevolon Creek. We'll go there. Let's go on a suicide mission. Let's get it done. Okay, let's do this. So you join us in mission. This is going to be sick. So we've got the anti-material rifle. And what we're doing is... Well, I love using this at 200 meter scope. Uh, it's a blitz mission. We're going to destroy these bots. But basically, rolling this with the ammo backpack and heavy armor, I think is just the way to go. Because you've got the damage resistance on um, rocket impact, explosive impact uh, from the heavy armor. You've, I don't think I can get through this, can I? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Um, but also, you've got the recoil uh, reduction as well when you're crouching, which is really good for the anti-material rifle because you can double tap the bots, uh, the um, Devastator bots in the chest and kill them. Obviously, one shot in the head will kill them, but double tap in the chest ooh, gets you out of a lot of bad situations. And of course, anti-material rifle, as I say, has been buffed 30% extra damage, so it's just better anyway. Um, I'm taking the ammo backpack because, as I said, I don't need the shield backpack and because I generally use this uh, anti-material rifle to shoot everything. So basically, it's a big um, big buff to me to be able to have... There we go. Two shots in the side. Uh, it's a big buff to me to be able to have tons of ammo. And I think this is probably the way to roll this. And the heavy armor obviously helps you a ton against bots. Because the bots, as we all know, are ranged damage. Which is uh, kind of annoying because they just spray shots everywhere. See, there's a Devastator up there. That's not a devastator. That's a gun turret. What the hell? Everything's a devastator to me. <laughs> we'll get the rare samples. Easy. Nice. See what I mean? Like, those guys are miles away and they've, like... Okay, we, we should probably get running. We don't want to get involved in long, protracted fights with these guys. That is not the way forward. <laughs> what? So, yeah, I would have died. Pre-patch, I would have died from that. And obviously, I've got um, the armor buffs as well. And, and heavy armor on. See what I mean, though? Look at all this fire coming in. You've really got to be aware. But you always, as well, you, you don't have to fight all the bots. I mean, fighting them is fun. And fighting the, the bugs as well is fun. But you can get bogged down in just endless fights with them. And on Blitz missions, you don't have that much time. So... While it is fun to just sit there blasting them, you ain't really got 30 minutes to do it. <laughs> you know, you got to get in and out. <laughs> Gunships, uh-oh. Maybe I should thin some of those out behind, though. Just for our allies' sake. <laughs> it's fine. Uh-oh. I mean, just look how good this is. It's so sick, this is. I mean, against those guys there, I don't think any other weapon will be able to kill them as fast. I mean, I'm literally standing up as well, shooting that into them. It's just such a powerful weapon, this is. Incredibly powerful. Okay, well, the mission's completed. We just need to extract. It's going to actually be a bit of a slog there. So, you know what? We'll get these samples, and then we will... I'm not going to... Oh, I should reinforce that, actually. It's my ally, isn't it, who died? Is it my ally that died? Whoa. I'm not entirely sure. We need to get out of here, though. I Oh, my God. Those gunships. So I'm completely ineffective against the gunships. I, uh, am I? Hold on. I thought this was ineffective against gunships. 
That's doing damage to the gunships. Uh, maybe I was totally wrong. Okay, it's not very good against them. Though. <laughs> okay. First person view. <laughs> that point blank rage. Oh, God. Please. Oh, no. So, I think we're bogged down fighting those uh, gunships. I didn't realize the anti-material rifle damaged them, though. I mean, it clearly was damaged to them, right? Am I losing my mind? Okay, I guess we're going to find out. Get rid of that guy. See, two shots. Point blank range. Just gets it done. Get the job done. We'll get these, though. I'm not interested in that walker. The problem with these towers is I think you can only destroy them with um, hell bombs. So you can't use like your 500 kilogram bomb. Oh my god. 500 kilogram bombs on them. <laughs> That's the other thing as well with the ammo backpack. You can endlessly keep stimming yourself. <laughs> and I love stims. I really love stims. I really don't have the time, do I, to try and kill these guys. I really want to take out one of these bots. Uh, these gunships. Let's try it. I think I'm going to need, like, two mags, though, to make it happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. There's too many of them. We need to just go. We need to go. So, anyway, I take back my earlier statement, if I made that statement. But I think maybe I did. This is uh, a, a, an absolute mess with these gunships. <laughs> and I've just reinforced the team into the gunships. I apologize, team. Oh, Lord. I'm just literally running in and I'm going to call the hell bomb down. And it's totally going to work. <laughs> oh, it's been called in. Okay, it has been called in. Where's the hell bomb? <laughs> Where's the hell bomb team? We can't fight these guys. We need the hell bomb. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, they did not like that. <laughs> they did not like that. I almost dropped the hell bomb. Yeah, this is this is a mess. This is. Is P2 going for extraction? No. We just need to get the hell bomb called in as fast as possible. <laughs> This mission is a disaster. I, I mean, I'm so dead here. What am I doing? Like, we... No samples for us. <laughs> Unless one of the other players have somehow got the samples. See, this is the problem with the dropship towers or the gunship towers if you don't take them out. You're just going to get bogged down with, like, loads and loads and loads and loads of... <laughs> so we've made it to extraction, but this is not looking good. <laughs> I mean... I... Will the railgun hit them? Let's see if the railgun... I mean, we are basically being chased across the map. Uh, I think the railgun maybe did. Anti-material damages them. I killed him with that, but I think it took a ton of damage. Should probably shoot the engines, actually, instead of it head on. Orbital lasers. Really good, though, at killing them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've lost all our samples, though, but these things happen. Finally, the gunships are gone. What's he doing? <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> Yes. I do love this weapon. I don't love it as much as I love the uh, um, auto cannon, though. Auto cannon is the best. I can hear bots over there. Okay. 
Uh, they're getting, yeah, they're getting hit with an eagle. It's fine. It's all fine. Drop ships. It's a shame about the sample so low. I think we could have got them. Look at them all over here. It's <laughs> a right mess over there. You've got to get in. Destroy their... Basically, there's a sound effect right before a gunship spawns. But you need to kill both of them. Call the hell bomb in. And then arm the hell bomb while killing the next two that spawn. Because if you don't... Oh, that's unlucky. Because if you don't... um, You will just end up with way too many of them. And you cannot possibly beat them all. <laughs> and then they just kill you. And then that's uh, unlucky. There's no sample. Well, there was no sample. I was like, did this guy bring samples? No. Going to give anyone a parting gift before I leave? That walker? Maybe. I don't know. Let's leave. <laughs> Another unsuccessful, successful mission. No, it was successful. I mean, we did the objective. But uh, that was a slog. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. I do think this anti-material rifle is really good. You need some decent aim for it. Um, but honestly, I think it's it's not that hard to use. You can get used to it. But is it as much fun as the auto cannon? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Although you can play certain play styles, right? You can sort of go for that recon style play style, you know, where stealth, take the recon armor, going in, you know, and... Uh, making things happen behind the lines because the thing is with the anti-material you can take out a lot of the um like the elite enemies you can clear out the outpost fairly quick you've got problems with tanks though and gunships seem to be a bit iffy and obviously the big factory walkers and the, the gun turret towers would be annoying but you've got stratagems to deal with them so yeah but yeah that was a rough operation that was if i'm honest um you guys should have seen the uh, recordings of the other two missions they were like what <laughs> Anyway, it was interesting. Like I said, just take the missions as they come. That is the beauty of this game. Everything is totally different. I guess we'll wait to see the stats since I've blabbed enough at the end of this video here. But we'll see what the stats are. Hopefully, my accuracy was decent. Um, because it would be shocking if it isn't. Because, you know, I was using the literal sniper rifle. <laughs> I'm clean as well. <laughs> no, I've got blood on my head. <laughs> Let's have a look then. What are these horrible stats um yeah so there wasn't many kills on that mission yeah my accuracy was the best i'll take it all right guys thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you on the next one see you soon